I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands against one opponent. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. There's a link in the video description below to a demonstration and the rules. You can play online now at SiameseMahjong.com. I like to do an exercise called Siamese Sprints to practice with my initial decision when I get all those tiles. Because if you don't make a quick decision, the game will toss a tile for you. You have two minutes. So I try to practice making decisions in under two minutes. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here. We're going to do six laps. Laps one, three, and five are going to be the sprints. Laps two and four are going to be set up. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. 28 tiles for player one, 27 for player two. Flowers, news, pair south, red, one, three, four, six, eight, nine, one, two, three, pair threes in cracks. Here's a pung of twos, four, five, eight, nine, four, five, pair seven, and nine bam. So pung of two dots. I forgot to mention that suit. So here we have two, three, seven, three, one, three, five, seven, nine flowers, year hand potential. I think that's what I would do here. One, three, five, year hand. Here's two, four, six, eight, a bit. But here's one, three, five, seven, nine, concealed. News, year hand. I think I would hold all of those. Okay, lap. So probably news year hand concealed. And then down here, one, three, five, five, seven, nine concealed. And then these are discards. I try to have it so that I have eight discards or less. And we have nine. So that's not bad. Now, we're not going to need all of these. So really, probably those would be discards too. But I would keep them because I want options. This would use all the multiples. I think that's what I would do here. We have a lot of dots. So multiples, pair three, pair two, four, eight. We have no sixes, but we could use this for two, four, six, eight. We've got our pair. And then the other hand, maybe one, three, three, five. One, three, three, five would use all the multiples. Let's hold the white dragon. Three, five, one, three. Two, four, six, 
eight, maybe with the dragon. One, three, five, three, five. Maybe we could play one, three, five, seven, nine. Lap. So two, four, six, eight looks strong. One, three, five, a little weak. I think maybe keep these with all those discards just to see what comes in for odds. Play odds. Don't pick a hand yet. Two, four, six, eight, and odds. That's, I think, what I would do. Six discards, odds, two, four, six, eight. Three flowers, jokers, one, two, three, four, six, eight, two, three, and cracks, pairs, three, four, eight, two, three, four, five, pair sevens, two, three. I would do consecutive run, one, two, three, four, five, maybe, and then let's see, we have sevens, five, seven, five, seven, uh, multiplication. Three, five. Okay, so let's see. Five. Oh, we don't have the right five. Three, five, seven, nine. Or five through nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight flowers. Lap. Woo. That was hard. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Pairs, Kongs. Fifth hand down under consecutive run. Flowers. With all these flowers. I would focus on consecutive tiles. So I would hold six, eight, six, seven, eight. If we can get maybe, actually what we could do is this. Single pair, Pung Kong, one, two, three, dragon. But I would still hold consecutive tiles for maybe one, two, three, four, five if we can get the nine dot. And I would hold these for more consecutive options. Cause we could even do flowers up here with one, two, three flowers and then do five through eight consecutive. I think that's how I would do it here. That was a challenge. Here's this hand, just so you can see. One, two, three. Those would go away, and then we would play five through eight here. I was just thinking, one, two, three, four. Maybe even keep these because we could maybe play the pair hand right there. It's a long shot though, so I don't know if I would count on it. Maybe keep those two. Six discards, that's what I would do, I think. It's good to have options, but here we're building around multiples.
Let's see how things went with time. When you play online at SiamesMahjong.com, you have two minutes to make your initial decision on what categories to play. If you focus on the categories that best use your multiples, you should be able to quickly identify discards. When you start hearing the beep that tells you that your two minutes are closing in, discard one of those tiles and then continue to make your decisions on how you're gonna focus going forward. Let's see how I did with time. Uh, I accidentally reset it. So I'll have to insert it here so you can see. I think I went over a couple of times. You can see that I went over two minutes on a couple of those sprints. This is why you want to gather for the category and identify tiles that you know you don't need. I would have discarded any one of those when that beeper starts going off. If you haven't tried playing at Siamese Mahjong, I hope you give it a try. It really is a lot of fun and they do have a trial. Look for my email in the video description below. I can send you some information. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.